What's up, guys? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. You are so kind. <laughs> anyway, guys, what's up? This is Ferentz with another outdoor wild recipe. Today, we're working with wild boar brought down from Georgia up to New Jersey. Thank you very much, Charles. Our friend went out there to go do some hunting, and unfortunately, I don't have any video of that, but that would be really cool. Anyway, the, he brought us back some wild boar. This is the first time I've ever had it. But my dad, of course, being the outdoorsman that he is, not to mention a Hungarian, hence the tribute of this amazing music, the Hungarian dance number five and six. Anyway, so he and his little Hungarian outdoor cookbook, of course, had a recipe for wild boar. Because believe it or not, Hungary is actually has some prized wild boar hunting in the more mountainous regions. Uh, lots of forests and stuff up there. They can reach up to several hundred pounds. This particular one was shot with a gun, so you can see that the meat is a little bit, uh, a little bit bloody. But I promise you, the end result is makes not a single dip, bit of difference. Of course, I understand getting your hands on some wild boar may not be the easiest thing, especially the supermarket, but can easily be replaced with pork chops. So basically, guys, I tenderized it a little bit, salt and pepper. We get the oil nice and hot and we're cooking for five people today so it all doesn't go into the pan all at once not to mention we want to get uh maximize the surface area so basically we're just putting it in on all out all in as is and we're gonna have to do a second batch it's only seasoned with salt and pepper we're flipping it over not cooking it over only for maybe three minutes on each side this is pork guys so you want to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked it's not like beef of course Anybody who's cooking probably knows that. <laughs> so yeah, you want to cook it thoroughly, but we're also also not we're also putting it into this little metal container because we're going to make the mushroom sauce and then add the meat back into it. So we're taking the meat out and we're doing the second round. Again, three minutes on each side seems like it's a good number for this one. Uh, we got our fries going as well. We kind of had a sweet tooth for fries here at home. so. The fries are done, or being cooked, and I tend to leave it a little bit because it takes a while. I noticed that the fire needs a little bit more uh, oomph, so we always get the fire cook going on at home, especially in the winter, especially when we're cooking some good stuff. So let that baby burn, and back to the kitchen. So my dad's finishing up with the last bits of boar, and so he takes everything out. We chopped up a big onion, boom, goes right in. Uh, you want to saute this until it's golden brown. He adds a little bit more oil just to make sure you get the most flavor out of it. It was very, very finely chopped just again to maximize the surface area, aroma, flavor. And we're letting that sit as well as adding um, some pepper and some paprika. Straight from Hungary. There's a little Snapchat <laughs> which from my brother that day. He just got a new uh, dirt bike and he's just ripping it down the street. We also took it to the park. Guys, you can always add me on Snapchat. It tends to be, I hear that it's, my snaps are pretty entertaining and I try to make them educational as well. I will throw my my snap um, username down in the description. Again, guys, always feel free to add me on Facebook, add me on Snapchat, add me on Instagram. You check out my website. I'm gonna also put this up there with the actual step-by-step -step recipe in a written format. So my dad put the the mushrooms in. I'm sorry, I was talking. <laughs> I didn't catch that. He threw the mushrooms in. So basically, with the mushrooms, um, the onion, the salt, and some pepper. Or the salt might go in right now. I forget. But definitely a little bit of salt goes in there. And so we let that reduce. The mushrooms got a lot of liquid into in it. So we're letting that just, you know, let it simmer and whatnot. Anyway, the meat goes back inside, and my dad's going to cover it for a little bit just to get the uh, the flavor going. But we also add beef stock to get more of like a sauce kind of flavor. It makes the meat really tender. It makes the mushrooms tender. And it's just a way for everything to just to melt all together into one great flavor. It, the meat sucks it up, and it's great. So basically, the fries are getting there. We're getting the fries nice and crispy. <sighs> I think this is like the, the third batch. We're gonna have a lot of fries today. <laughs> the more, the merrier, especially since this is, comes with a sauce. So we'll use the fries to, you know, soak up the sauce. All right, as for the cucumbers, we're gonna um, saute them in some butter. 
you know, we kind of like our cucumbers to be a little bit, uh, add a little bit of a crunch, because if you overdo the cucumbers, they just t get really, really mushy. I mean, some people like it like that, some people don't, but for us, we like to get a little bit of crunch out of our cucumbers. So literally probably, again, two minutes, I would say, on each side. Flip them. You can just tell when they're golden brown on the other side, it's time to flip. There's no need to overdo it, especially when they get burned. The butter lets it caramelize very well. So everything's done. The meat's done. The fries are done. We're bringing everything over to the table. And this is our favorite part, spreading the joy. Again, guys, you can go on my website, fillyourlifewithferrance.com. It'll all be down in the description. I'm also going to write out the, the recipe in on the website and we'll, you can definitely reference that from here guys again this is just i just just a way for us just to communicate and just to explain that you know doing things with your family cooking with the family is just always a great idea hopefully give you guys some ideas to maybe cook with your family or cook for yourself this came out delicious again guys my name is ferentz this is all able to be found on my website and please subscribe to all this kinds of stuff, guys. I, I really want to keep putting out content as often and as much as possible. Thank you very much and have an excellent day.